So I've been looking at a lot of maps. And once you see this, you can't unsee it. Africa, South America, India, even Greenland, they all seem to taper south, almost like the earth is melting. And it's not just continents, peninsulas, they all seem to drip southward. In 1973, author Ormond Decay wrote a rather interesting term, continental drip almost making fun of the newly coined termed continental drift for plate tectonics. But visually, it stuck. And I've been doing some digging, and it turns out that it's more than just a joke. See, this southward pointing dipping pattern is actually a geological clue. See, if we go back over 180 million years ago, we had a landmass known as Gondwana. Africa, India, South America, Antarctica, they were all combined together into the southern supercontinent. And as is the way with plate tectonics, as these plates moved apart northwards, well, they sort of separated and split. Kind of like when you get a plate and you smash it, you get all these angular points pointing towards the center. As these landmasses drifted away from Antarctica, well, the southern end stretched and tapered, almost like pulling taffy. In fact, India moved so fast when it smashed into Asia, it created the Himalayas, the largest mountain range that we have on Earth, at least in terms of height. But not everything points south because platonics is rather complicated. For example, the Antarctic Peninsula, well, they point north. Or even Jutland in Denmark, that's another outlier. See, part of what makes this pattern feel so universal is the way that we have our map projections. Most world maps use the Mercator scale, so everything is rather flat and squared. This form of map stretches land masses the further they get away from the equator. It exaggerates the southern tapering of these continents, therefore making them look bigger and more distorted than they actually are. So yeah, once you see it, you can't unsee it. But now, you know why. If you enjoy this kind of earth science content, hit the follow and watch out for our next video.